Oh, and they're hungry today. No, they're hungry. There is no <laughs> question about that. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he's going to we'll stay in the boat. There's a nice one. Yeah, they definitely got a little bigger. There he is. Oh, wow, I might even want to say there's two on here. Why, Jeff? I say I got something on here. Well, look at that. Look at there, you got two on there. All right. There we are, right there, Jeff. That's just one. And that ain't a back, bad sea bass right there. That'll do. I had two on there, but one of them came off. Old black sea bass, yum. There we go. Oh yeah. There you go, Jeff. That looks good there, but I got two fish on right here too. Look at here. Another double. All right. Well, you know, all it's right definitely there. that little process that you said. Drop it back down, let him hit it again, and boom, yep. you're hooking up two. You get two of them. I kind of like this kind of stuff. This is my idea. Good time fishing. Oh yeah. There you go, Jeff. Get him, mm. son. Hold him, hook hold him. Oh yeah. There you are, two more fish. <laughs> Yeah. I definitely got one on there, Jeff. Oh my gosh. That right there is what you call the school. I think. You know, I really don't like fishing that many hooks right there, but really what I wanted to show everybody was that, you know, these fish get down there and once they go to feeding, I mean, they really, really turn it on. And, you know, really two hooks is plenty enough hooks to fish for these kind of fish. But look, if you can drop down there and catch them five at the time, just imagine what kind of time you can have out here. If you're just wanting to fish two hooks, you know, put them out there and just have a ball. You know, some days you're going to catch a lot bigger fish than other days. I mean, I'm not disappointed with the size of fish we're catching today. You know, I like to see some of them a little bit bigger, but hey, they're still going to eat just fine. We'll see what it turns into. Looky there. Three black sea bass right there, y'all in a nice green head. Let's see if we can't take us a look at the color on this one. Look right there, there's that hue of green. You can see right there through his head. What a pretty fish that is. There's a oh, nice Oh, there's the nicest bass. one today. All right, oh, that's a beauty. That is a good fish right there, Mr. Jeff. Oh, wow. Boy, and he jumped right on that too. Man, that's, that is what we've been looking for. Yep, I'd like to see a lot more of them. Show them people what one of them nicer sea bass look like. Look at the hump on the back of his head, Jeff. Looky here, I just got slammed by something. Wow, that is a nice fish. Well, Jeff, what did you think about black sea bass fishing? I had a great day. I can't believe all the fish that we reeled in today. It's just amazing. How many how many black sea bass you reckon we caught total today? Well over 100, I know. Yeah, well over 100. I'm sure we've kept our limit, which is... Um... What we're supposed to do. Yep. You know, hey, there's never really any need to come out here and catch more than your limit and keep them. It's okay to catch them and release them. But remember, you know, there's fish enough out here for everybody. And we got some great limits right here in Georgia at this time. So whatever you catch, 
you know, keep just your limit, let the rest of them go so the next time that you come, you'll have fish. And hey, if you bring somebody with you, they'll have a few extra fish to catch as well. Jeff, I tell you, uh, this kind of fishing right here, you know, it might not be large fish that we're catching all the time, but in, in my opinion, it's some of the best bottom fish that a, a fella can eat because, you know, the fillet, when you fillet these fish, the, the fillets aren't so thick that they don't cook unevenly. Mm -hmm. And so it makes it great food for everybody to eat. Would you come back and do it again, Jeff? You know, again, I'm just amazed that we can come out here. We found some good structure out here on Gray's Reef, um, just, what, off of Sapelo Island. Um, found some good bottom structure, and the fish were there. Drop them down, and it was it, it almost seemed like it was uh, unfair we were catching so many. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's what you see when you're out here on these sea bass. They stack up good. You know, they're out here on these, out, uh, these uh, outcroppings of coral, and, and there's plenty of fish. Remember, when you bait up, you know, drop down the bottom and be ready instantly. Remember, squid's a great bait for this. So are the, the sardines and the cigar minnows. But also today we use Boston mackerel. We find that the Boston mackerel many times, if you put a piece on there, when, when they go to bite, and it actually puts out some chum, and you can get everything in that, that vicinity of the area that you're fishing in stirred up where they'll really bite a whole lot better. But anyways, we sure enjoyed making today's show. We hope y'all enjoyed doing something a little bit different. You know, we're not here in the backwater today, but we're doing something that you can do right here in the heart of winter, and that's go black sea bass fishing. Hope y'all will stay tuned because we've got some more great episodes offshore fishing that I think y'all are going to enjoy seeing. So, Jeff Williams, I'm Jeff Williams Sr., and I'm Captain Mark Noble. Hey, hope y'all tune in again next week. These size sea bass that you're catching, you, know, you get a fish around 11 and a half to 13 and a half inches and you flay that fish, they're just the right size to fry, uh, saute, blacken. Mm -hmm. A sea bass is really one of them fish you really can't mess up when you cook them. The only worst thing you can do to them is overcook them. But you know, hey. So you've got a really good technique on how to flay them? Well, no, I, I'm good at giving advice. Oh, I was going to say, because you could do mine. If oh, you no, I, I, I am good at pointing out how to get her done. But uh, anyways, Jeff, we're probably 300 feet off them numbers. We'll swing back yeah. around and try Let's get to back do. on them.